Hey Virgos, welcome to your May 2020 love reading. This reading will be for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, and of course Venus Sun because it is a love reading. Um, if you don't know your Moon Rising or Venus sign, there's a link in my description or you can click on it and enter your birthday and the time you were born to get those signs. Also, if the link isn't working or it doesn't give you your Venus, check Google, okay? You can Google that information and I always recommend that you go and watch your Moon Rising and especially Venus sign videos for the love. Um, just to get more clarity and in case this storyline is not matching up with what's going on in your life, right? Because there's millions of Virgos in the world and not everyone is going to be experiencing the same thing you are. Um, if this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon rising and Venus, okay? Also, if you're new to my channel, comment your birthday down in the comment section. Represent for Virgo gang. See if you can find your birthday twin, all right? And also, I'm going to put a link in my description. If you guys are looking for jewelry or accessories, nice pieces to order, handbags, sunglasses, check out illasparks.com. The link will be in my description. She has a ton of really pretty um, zodiac pieces like charm bracelets, necklaces, earrings. Very, very nice. And the shipping is free. So check her out if you are looking to get some nice pieces to add to your jewelry or accessory collection, okay? All right, let's get into it for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Virgos, what's going on with Virgos in the month of May in their love life, 2020? What's the present energy surrounding Virgos in their love life? Present energy could be the recent past, the moment you're watching this video, or near future, okay? It's just the overall energy or the, of the situation in your love life. Ooh, Virgo. The demon. What's going on here, Virgo? That's equivalent to the devil card. Okay. All right. We will clarify that for sure. We're going to put six cards out and then we're going to clarify all six. Okay. So stick with me till I clarify in case you feel like this story is, it doesn't match your story. It may match once we clarify. Two more cards here. What's going on here in Virgo's love life? The demon, the cocoon. One more card. And the adventure. Someone's trying to get away from some sort of toxic energy. Okay. Some sort of toxic connection. Codependent as well. Someone has some sort of like codependent habits. Either it's you, Virgo, or the person you're dealing with. I feel like you're trying to get away from someone. You want to be on your own. You're kind of trying to go back into hermit mode. You've been doing this a lot, Virgo. Wanting to be on your own, doing things on your own. You really want to venture out. You're ready to like pack up all your shit and just go because you cannot deal with this energy anymore. This energy is very toxic. Um, this energy is very self-destructive. Remember, this is equivalent to the devil card in Rider Waite. This is equivalent to the fool card and the cocoon. Um... I kind of consider it both the hermit and um, the uh, hangman, all right? So there's something that you've, you've been thinking about for a while, but you haven't actioned on it. And I know I've been saying that a lot in your readings. This month, it seems like you're going to do it. You're going to step out or you're going to, you know, start fresh or leave a situation. You're leaving like, you know, um, toxic behaviors, toxic people, toxic energy behind you don't want to be involved in that anymore. So you're closing yourself off and moving away from it before it consumes you. So what's the outcome here for Virgos? What is the outcome here for Virgos? The judge, yep, making big decisions here. Seeing things for what it is. Seeing, seeing all the toxic... Some of you are seeing things very clearly now, Virgo. You're seeing something in your love life that is very negative and toxic, and you see it for what it is, right? Maybe before you weren't sure, but now it's like you, the person's mask has come off. You see them for who they are, and you know that the situation is toxic, and you know that you need to move away from it, and you're going to make a big life-changing decision about it. Two more cards for the outcome for, for Virgo. 
manifestation so now this is when you go to work virgo this is when you're going to make those changes that you've been thinking about all right this is when you're going to manifest a new beginning or manifest something into the physical realm here let's see what that may be you guys have been on a crossroads but now you're taking action one more card for virgo as the outcome and then we're going to clarify these cards one more card for virgo air the element of air you could be dealing with an air sign gemini libra aquarius person whatever you're manifesting it's going to be quick quick movement quick thought okay all of your ideas you're manifesting now into something into reality bottom of your deck you have destruction many of you are choosing to get rid of or destroy this toxic negative energy this codependent energy here that either you share with someone or not or there's some sort of you know this doesn't even happen this may even not even have to do with someone this could be this demon could be your inner demons as well that you are trying to move away from and you're trying to acknowledge here and you're making the changes you're manifesting a new beginning your mind and your mentality is clear now where you notice either the demons inside of you or the person you're dealing with has some toxic behavior or you're stuck in like a codependent toxic relationship okay but you have air here we're going to clarify these cards Let's see what what is going on here for you guys Why is the demon here? This is the most important card of them all. Why is the demon here for Virgos? Why? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Didn't I say it was equivalent to the devil? And look who just popped up. The devil card. Toxic energy. Toxic, toxic energy. Leo. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Leo. You could be dealing with the Leo. Move away from that. Move away from that, Virgo. I think in your... In your general reading, you had a reading about, like, be careful who you trust. There's some demons around you. There's some people around you. There are snakes in the grass. Be mindful, even in your love life. What is this demon? What is this demon energy? What is this demon energy? Universe has been warning you. Mm. King of Swords, air sign person, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is a person. Air element, air element. This is a person here. I think you also had the air element last time. Here you are at the bottom of your deck. Virgo, the hermit. This person is a liar. This person is manipulative. This person can be cold at times. They can be controlling at times. They can be very hard to talk to. They're very cutting with their words. This is not a good person, Virgo. Be mindful of this person. This is not a good person here. Why is Cocoon here? Why is Cocoon here? I tell you, that devil card wants to come out. The sign of Capricorn now. You feel stuck. You feel trapped. Many of you Virgos feel trapped. Now remember, this could be vice versa. If you're a cross watcher watching this and you feel like the Virgo is the demon, you know, more power to you. That's that's your specific situation. So feel free to flip the roles if need be, okay? But someone here is very toxic, very controlling. Um, someone is making the other person feel very stuck in this situation. This person has warped their mind into making them feel like they're trapped. Oh, it's a very bad energy, Virgo. It's a very bad energy. And this person could even be like the man of this is this is considered the magician in my deck and this person is just like weaving this web of you know manipulation and and trying to cloud your thought look at you you're clear you're clear of thought you're gonna snap out of this whatever control this person thought they had over you or vice versa if you had control over somebody they're gonna snap out of it why is adventure here why is adventure here judgment 
judgment twice. You're making the judgment call. Should you stay or should you go? You're leaning very much towards getting away from this energy. You cannot take it anymore. You cannot take this feeling. You almost feel suffocated. That's what I get, Virgo. You feel suffocated by this person. And how, how ironic or not ironic that it's a snake. You feel like this person has their, their grasp on you and they're suffocating the life out of you. And you cannot take it anymore. You're making that decision here. Judgment and the judge. Big decisions happening here. So the outcome. Please clarify the judge. And the outcome here. Nine of Wands. Yeah, you, you're starting to see things for what they are. You're starting to see how you've been you know, mistreated possibly in this relationship, how tired you are of the situation. Um, and you're ready to give up. You're at the nine, which means you're very close to the 10, which means endings. So you're get, you're like right there. You're right at the tip, ready to make that judgment call. It's almost like, you know, one more, one more straw will break the camel's back at this point, but that's where you are. You've reached your limit almost your limit because you're at the nine and then you're going to make this huge decision here why is manifestation here why is manifestation here let's get a card to pop not just flip thank you aries is showing up here someone is very much in control either this is you regaining your control and you're getting your power back or this is this person, again, trying to exert their power over you. Be mindful of that, Virgo. Could go either way. But you have the power of decision making here. They can try to convince you and persuade you. They make you feel trapped like you have no other way where to go, but you have options. You do. Now, why is air here? Yeah, look at this at the bottom of the deck, too. This person's almost like a bully. Five of Swords air energy air element they they play tricks with your head a lot why is the element of air here why is the element of air here the high priestess intuitively you you know you have this intuitive nature about you virgos for an earth sign i would say you're probably the most intuitive earth sign there is and you have this knowing of what's going on at all times people think that they can control you mentally but they they can't it's like you see what they're doing but sometimes you choose to to fall into their trap it's like you see the trap but you fall into it anyway because you love them so much or you're clouded by something else but you always know intuitively when something's not right it just takes you a while to get to that point you know because you're very analytical you, you know, you, you really got to think things through for a while before you, you make a decision. But intuitively, you have a knowing that something wasn't right and that you need to make a decision soon. One more card for the air element. One more card for air element. One more card for air element. The four of wands. It's an interesting card to come out. You know, I feel like you guys were happy at a point, but now, now is a time where you're struggling. Now is a time where the blinders have come off and you see the relationship for what it is. You used to hold on to the happy times, but now you see it for what it is. And it's been nothing but a struggle and nothing but, you know, a power struggle as well. It seems like this person is very dominant, very dominant. They try to dominate you. Hmm. let's pull an oracle card here from the romance angels this will be overall message and guidance from universe to you okay virgos so universe what is the message you have for virgos in love for the month of may 2020 overall message in love okay you have honeymoon here but let's do that again because i don't like the way it popped out it kind of just hit my finger overall message for Virgo. There we go. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. <laughs> Honeymoon is there again. There's some, there's this need for you to want to like 
you you desperately feel a need to escape or to to relocate or to move somewhere to get away honeymoon is like the getaway card you want to just get away from the situation one more card for virgo so now we're going to wrap this reading up very soon clearly decide what you want look at that retreat as well see retreat get away run away clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now you have judgment here twice make a decision on what you're going to do and action on it but i feel like you 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 will do that you're going to make a decision very very soon about this person because now you see them for who they are virgo the mask is off all right so virgos i hope this reading was able to give you some clarity some peace of mind okay um i love you guys so be safe out there if you want to do a private reading with me the link to my website is down below it's just reads tarot.com same as my youtube name you can purchase a reading there and i'd be happy to do one for you okay my schedule is pretty clear this week so if you guys want to get one in this week and get a quicker turnaround time now would be the time to do it all right so you guys take care be safe and i hope to see you in the next video bye